tenants, landlords and all those involved in property transfers have until the 7th of June to register and move into their properties. Early lockdown regulations prohibited property deals. But now that government's uh, risk-adjusted strategy to combat the spread of the coronavirus has ended, most property-related activities are now allowed. Now joining us to get a bit more depth here is Donald Mokhetle, Senior Associate at Adams and Adams. A very good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. With the high levels of uncertainty and a lot of concerns raised by tenants, landlords and so forth, on the 7th of May, some restrictions were eased, allowing for movement in order to change places of residence. What exactly do these new changes mean and accommodate in terms of movement? Good morning, Mpo. You are right. On the 7th of May 2020, the government issued directions allowing for the once of movement of persons and the transportation of goods for the purposes of relocation. So in terms of the regulations, tenants who signed and entered into new lease agreements before or during the lockdown will be permitted to move into their new places of residence should they so require, as well as property owners who took transfer of immobile properties before the lockdown period. Now, just to get a bit more information on the deed office and the impact of that office, what then happens to those uh, whose property transferred were registered at the deeds office during the lockdown period? The lockdown period is defined as that period between the 26th of March until the, 20, the 30th of April. During that period, the deeds offices were closed and no transactions could be registered. So only transactions that were registered on or before the 26th of March 2020, uh, the property owners allowed to take uh, uh, occupation, if I may put it like that. Mm. And just getting a sense and perhaps a, a more in-depth understanding of what will happen during this time for landlords and tenants who perhaps are not seeing eye to eye when it comes to rental relief measures. What advice do you have there for perhaps uh, the tenant and also the, the landlord? The starting point will be the lease agreement. Parties have to study the terms and conditions of their lease agreement and ascertain whether there are any exclusionary uh, clauses relating to the non-performance due to the current situation. In most instances, these agreements contain provisions to effect that should performance not be possible due to circumstances beyond the control of either party, then performance is excused, meaning that the tenant will not be obliged to pay occupational rent because the tenant was unable to take occupation of the property due to the lockdown regulations. So it is important for the parties to study the conditions in their lease agreements before they make any decisions. How could these, uh, the unprecedented time that we're in, what sort of impact do you believe that it could have on the property market in its entirety when it comes to businesses now uh, renting and occupying spaces versus um, you know, utilizing their uh, business opportunities when people are in lockdown at home and now able to work on, online? Yeah, so obviously the impact is going to be uh, severe, and the property market will obviously show the impact of um, the pandemic, because most activities have been suspended uh, during this period, and uh, tenants they cannot use the properties to their full advantage. So definitely, in the long run, uh, the property market will feel the pinch of this uh, lockdown. And just looking at the legal perspective on the uh, property transfer transactions and obligations that need to be met, what are some of the concerns that you foresee? The major concern right now is the fact that the regulations only allow for the movement of property owners who took transfer before the lockdown. They are silent on property transactions that are going to take place now and going forward. So as soon as the deed offices are fully operational, which we anticipate will be sometime this week or the foreseeable future, we are going to proceed with registration of transfers. However, the new owners will not be permitted to move into their new place of residence. So that is going to 
produce a challenge on its own. Thank you so much uh, for your time.